A lot of organizations today are looking to strengthen their application security without slowing down software development. If you are too, stay tuned to this episode of the Azure Essential Show, all about GitHub advanced security and how it makes application security easier for all developers. Welcome back to the Azure Essential Show. I'm your host, Aaron Stark, and I'm here with Patrick Wong, Global Senior Product Marketing Manager from Azure Marketing. And today we're going to be talking about GitHub Advanced Security. This episode will be specifically about DevSecOps, GitHub Advanced Security and its capabilities, and we'll also cover some great learning resources for this solution. Also, Patrick has brought us a demo of an exciting feature powered by AI, so be sure to stick around for that. But before we get started, a reminder to hit that like button and subscribe to get notified of new episodes as they drop. And comment below if you have any questions, and we'll be sure to get back to you. Patrick, thanks so much for joining me today. Thanks for having me, Aaron. Really excited to be here. Always love talking about DevTools. (laughs) Me as well. So let's start with application security. It's never been more critical. It seems like right now apps are the number one attack vector for bad actors. But security teams are also struggling to keep up, and most vulnerabilities seem like they take six months to fix after being found. Can you walk us through and talk a little bit about how DevSecOps um, addresses some of these growing issues and the importance of application security? For sure. Let's start with DevOps, which is bringing together people, process, and technology to foster more collaboration between dev and operation teams. This leads to faster software delivery. So DevSecOps. DevSecOps is the evolution of DevOps where a company takes on a security-first mindset by integrating security into every phase of the development lifecycle. This means security is a team sport and a shared responsibility. In addition to the security teams, now developers are also accountable. With DevSecOps, you get the speed of DevOps plus the peace of mind that comes with holistic security, and it's a set of practices that helps organizations shift left. That sounds like a great idea. Taking security out of one silo area and kind of spreading it across the business, it sounds like. But what do you specifically mean by shift left? So shifting left is integrating testing, security, and QA earlier across the cycle in order to identify and remediate issues sooner, which makes them faster and cheaper to fix. Got it. Okay, that makes sense. So it's moving security testing left on the project timeline. But I take it that this is why a lot of developers find security requirements difficult to implement since most of the security tools weren't actually made for developers. But it seems like now these developers are doing the work of fixing these security issues. That's exactly it. And that's where GitHub Advanced Security comes in. GitHub Advanced Security is an add-on to GitHub Enterprise that makes application security easier for developers by embedding security capabilities directly into the dev workflow. It's a comprehensive set of tools specifically designed to help devs find and fix vulnerabilities throughout the whole life cycle. Okay, got it. So it sounds like developers will actually need to interrupt their flow and switch over to use a bunch of different third-party tools. That's the right thinking. Since these capabilities are built right into their workflow, they help developers detect, prevent, and fix vulnerabilities earlier in the dev lifecycle without losing any productivity. Preventing vulnerabilities without losing any productivity? I actually love the sound of that. Um, Now let's actually shift into what GitHub Advanced Security can do. Can you talk to us about the capabilities. For sure. So when it comes to security capabilities, there's two main types of pieces we look at. It's the detection of vulnerabilities and then the remediation, which is the fixing of these vulnerabilities. So GitHub Advanced Security has both. Let's start with the three main detection capabilities. The first is secret scanning, which detects and prevents the exposure of secrets like passwords, API keys, and tokens and it notifies the developers immediately. It features push protection, which blocks, pushes, and alert developers if their code contains a leaked secret. The second is dependency scanning. This helps secure your open source dependency by ensuring they're up to date and offering automated fixes and vulnerabilities. You can get the help of Dependabot, which automatically generates pull requests for out of date dependencies, allowing seamless updates to the latest version. And finally, code scanning. Code scanning uses CodeQL analysis engine to find and fix issues in custom code within the GitHub user experience. 
It provides dev-friendly alerts with AI power suggestions, allowing developers to commit fixes without leaving their workflow at all. Wow, these sound like some really great capabilities for helping devs spot a lot of the vulnerabilities that you mentioned, and all without leaving the GitHub platform, it sounds like. Um, what about remediation? A lot of times finding vulnerabilities isn't the biggest problem for developers I hear. I think it's actually more focused on fixing them. Absolutely, Aaron. That's what drives our vision, which we call found means fixed with the help of AI. Copilot Autofix and GitHub Advanced Security offers AI-powered remediation, and this feature analyzes vulnerabilities in code explaining why they matter and offers suggestions that help developers fix them as quick as possible. Developers can keep new vulnerabilities out of their code with Copilot Autofix in the pull request and also generate fixes for existing vulnerabilities. That does seem like magic, <laughs> but I feel like there would be a handful of people or developers that might feel a little bit uneasy in letting Copilot make these kinds of coding decisions. What are your thoughts on that? That's a fair point, uh, but autofix, Copilot Autofix always keeps humans in the loop by design. It has guardrails that keep you in control and it relies on human verification. So with you behind the wheel, with the power of AI, the time savings are huge. During the public beta, developers are fixing code vulnerabilities three times faster than doing it manually. And SQL injection vulnerabilities, that was 12 times faster. I'm excited to show you how it works. So let's take a look at how found means fixed through the power of Copilot Autofix can come to life. The primary challenge I face as a developer when I see a security issue be raised in a pull request is knowing what to fix and how to fix it. With GitHub Copilot Autofix, I get clear information about what's wrong with my code and a suggestion on how to resolve the problem. I can commit that suggestion right here, and the scan will rerun so that way I can be assured that the fix did in fact resolve the issue. This is great to ensure that new code doesn't get pushed with vulnerabilities, but what about my existing tech debt? If I bring up an existing alert, I can allow Copilot Autofix to generate the fix for me. I will see that updated information about what went wrong with my code and the opportunity to create a brand new pull request with that updated fix. With GitHub Copilot Autofix, found means fixed. Oh, this is incredible. It's definitely a game changer. I bet there's a lot of busy developers out there who would want to take advantage of GitHub Advanced Security right away. What's the best way for these developers to learn the ins and outs of this solution? There's a couple of great ways to take a look on how to learn it. What is the GitHub Advanced Security Learning Path on Microsoft Learn? There's also an excellent learning path on LinkedIn that's more video-based for the different styles of learning. Both of these are engaging courses that walk you through the features of what we just talked about today. And once you've completed it, you're ready to take the exam to earn the GitHub certification for GitHub Advanced Security. This credential essentially validates your expertise and signals to the marketplace so you have code security knowledge. There's also a great confidence booster in your abilities to put your skills to the test. Oh, you're absolutely right. And who doesn't love a shiny badge to add to the LinkedIn profile? Um, so where can developers find their certification exam? And are there any other resources that our viewers should know about? For sure. So you head to the GitHub certification landing page. Uh, and in that page, you'll have a link to register for exam. At the bottom of the page, you'll find a study guide. And that gives you a clear roadmap on what you'll encounter on the exam. So you head in feeling really prepared. Incredible. Thank you for giving us that overview. And thank you for sharing all of these amazing learning resources, Patrick. It was great talking with you about GitHub Advanced Security Day and how it empowers developers to build more secure software with less friction. Thanks for having me, Aaron. This was really fun. Uh, really enjoyed our conversation. Absolutely. Me as well. Uh, for our viewers, make sure that you check out the description below. Find all the links and resources that we talked about today. And until next time, thank you for watching the Azure Essential Show.